Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Varen. I'm laughing at my wife because she's being silly. And I am here to show you an updated witchy room tour. So let me turn around the camera and let's go because I gotta get out of the range of my silly wife. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I have this, albeit crooked, painting on my door. I don't close my door all the time, but that way, when my door is closed, hopefully people will fuck off. It doesn't always work. Let's go. So this room, when we moved in, was my son's room. We just switched them because he, he needed the bigger room, and I really wanted this little room. And so you come in. There's a view. So first, on this wall, we have my chakra paintings so there's the top and they're all the same size and it's the energy of the chakras in abstract form those are there and then here's the whole of the view we'll go through don't worry and we're gonna start over here Okay, so I've stepped in, I've closed the door, and as you enter my room, this is the view. So we've got a little altar and my wall. So here's the whole of it all together, if I can get back far enough. Nope, not quite. Um, so I've got these little butterfly sticks, and I wanted them to look like they were just coming up. So I've got those, and then... In the center of my wall, I have my wall centered above my altar. I have my elemental paintings, which I did several years ago. I have some pieces of artwork uh, from various Witch's Moon, Witch's Bounty boxes. There's this Lunar Light one. I've got my first ever Witch's Ladder, which is just... This one was just for, like, for me. It has my sun, moon, rising, and my north node. The Gaia piece from my, from a witch's moon. The soul piece from a witch's moon. This was one of my, like, second witch's ladders. And this one I created, um, repetitively, like, chanting, um, about balancing elemental, the elements within me. And then, gotta sit down. Hoop. Okay, <clears throat> so I have my sun and moon mirror, which I always have, and I always have them in this configuration, the sun on the left, the moon on the right, partly because the moon is facing that way, and also partly because it just, I don't know, I like it, and it go, but it goes with my sun and moon candle holder. I actually painted this to go with those and this was black and I painted it as well um so I have this is also from a witch's moon uh it was one where you got this little pouch and sigil so I I put the grounding sigil there was a set of four of them grounding healing prosperity and um I'm gonna lean back grounding healing prosperity and something else uh protection and I decided to put them on the four walls of my room. And with each one, I have a little bag with uh, the best corresponding color based on what I had available with the sigil in it that I plan to make into like a spell bag. So I have four of those to make. And then over here, hanging on the wall, is a magic coin that came from my grandpa who passed on um, in 2009. Uh, um, and... I made it into a necklace. So what I decided to do, this is like my seasonal altar-ish. Uh, it, it's multiple things. I only have so many spaces for things. Uh, so there's one of the, like an invocation piece that again came with a witch's moon that felt very ancestral to me. So on this side I have things that are more ancestral. So we've got and otherwise nature-y because this is gonna, is my seasonal altar. So I've got a, like this gorgeous chalice that I can use as an offering bowl. Around it, I've actually wound, this was a necklace, or it is a necklace, 
that belonged to a friend's wife who passed on. So I wound that around there too and I put it in this fairy's ring that I also got from the Witch's Moon. This was the stopwatch I bought for my wife to wear when we got married in honor of my grandpa who is Welsh. It's got the Welsh dragon on it. So I've got that as well. Little incense holder leaf, a candle holder. Still need to get a candle. And then over here, this is my set of Geomantic Coins by James R. Eads. Um, that deck is very ancestral to me, as uh, like the Cosmo Visions deck, as well as the coins. So those are there. And on this side, I decided to do my Elephant and Sunflowers because like this stuff... Sunflowers definitely feel summery to me, but I didn't want to put them away because I love them so much. So I've got my candle holder, two black candles, this gorgeous elephant sunflower clock I found on Facebook Marketplace, this adorable, come on, look at this, elephant mug. I don't want to break it, so I decided to use it as like decorative. I could like put something in it. An elephant, the corresponding handle holder. I've picked this altar cloth for spring and inside this trunk is the rest of my like big altar cloths and um, altar decor kind of stuff that I don't pull in and out a lot. And then for here, I did a video where I made this personal healing affirmation poem. It is based on my astrological correspondences and the Deccan's uh, the Deccan cards that are associated with my natal placements in my chart. I'm a professional astrologer. You can check out my links down below and you can check out that video up above. Um, and I've decided to use this for my daily, um, for like a daily altar time. So I come and I sit here on the floor and I say based on the day we're on. So today is Wednesday. So that would be the the Madi Makradi. That would be Mercury's day. So tonight I will say that affirmation. Today I celebrate my beautiful beating heart so many times. And I always I, I start it with um this one. I start it with the one of my rising sign and south node um and chiron they all happen to have the same one so i start it there i say this I say this one three times i say whichever planet of the day it is three times and then i say my north node one three times so that's that and it's just in this little trunk that we got outside okay time to get up off the floor on this wall, there's nothing much at the moment except some flowers that I am drawing. The roses are pretty well, well ready. These ones are the ones that are taking forever. Anywho, and then boop, 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 boop. Um, okay, so here you can see the full shot of my healing altar in the windowsill. This is a big reason why I wanted this room. It's got a window. It doesn't have a giant bulkhead that um, blocks a lot of the light, even though there's just one light. So I decided to put a healing altar. So I've got this gorgeous, you had a, I think I've, I've played with this in a video, but... got that gorgeous 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 chandelier and the reason I wanted this windowsill for a healing altar is th there's something about the streaming of the sunlight and the moonlight streaming in through the window so I've got my shells or my like um chandelier uh what's it called wind chime I've got my big conch shell I put both my selenite wands and then boop, boop, boop. So I've got both my selenite wands. This is a like a healing related vision board kind of thing I made a few years ago. 
I've got my gorgeous abalone shell bowl that a friend gave me. And then I have my avocado cup. This is another cup that doesn't actually work as a cup because it doesn't hold enough liquid. Um, so I just use it for decorative and avocado. It feels healing. So, and then this crescent moon I made. I decided to put with that my my selenite uh, 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 athme that I got from the witch's moon. The corresponding cutting cords artwork that came with it. And then there's the healing... Uh, artwork and the sigil bag for that. I'm going to sit down and that puts me right at my desk. So I was using this drawer for, or this like set of drawers uh, above the wall on my desk. I'll, I'll link the most recent tour up above in the cards. Um, and then like, so I had the drawers out, this one's empty, and I had them like this on my wall and I had stuff in them. Um, and then in the, the sh unit itself, without the drawers, I had a bunch of tarot decks. So, but I, I've decided to put it to raise my laptop on. And now it is quite high, but it's perfect because then I'm not hurting myself looking down. Um, I'll do an updated tour once I've organized everything fully, but I've got my, my common use markers currently, my common, my pens... Uh, my charm cast, that one's empty. This is where I've got like sensory things so far. And then this bottom drawer, I put my journal in there when I'm not using it. And I got my little elephants. I like when this guy's little paw sits up here. Cause like, come on. Uh, selenite bowl, I put my charm cast pendant in there at the end of the day card stand with my full my current moon phase card and my personal moon card my cup of tea I'm super excited look I have filming equipment it's not super fancy and it's not gonna stay out all the time but I have it's my most busy week with clients um I do year ahead spread sessions which can be started any time of the uh year I'll link my year ahead spread videos up above in the cards and but we meet every month with uh with my I meet every month with my clients one on one and pull cards for the month coming up to see what what's in the stars and the sky energy. It's it's an astrology like it's based in astrology and then use tarot to explore it. So I'm leaving them out for now because of the fact that I'm going to, like, I have a session later today, and then I have a session tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Tomorrow's my birthday. But I'm very busy. And I like that right now I can see my altar, so I have this beautiful view. Cup of tea, cup of water, journal. And then I put out this book stand to hold my cards for the week. And then I've got some little cutesies here. Uh, I'm not going to show you my desk, in my desk, but I will show you this so this adorable shelf come on with all the cute figures that's actually my son's stuffy but <laughs> I love it so much um so in here I put all my small decks so all my little well and that one um and my wildwood so I put all my like mini decks in here for now uh, I've got my little cuties I put my keyboard up here at night to clear my drawers. And then I have this little moon magnet that fidgety toy. Maybe I'll put that in here too. Um, so on this shelf, I put the boxes that I want to look nicer. And then I have the rest of my tarot collection right here. Ta-da. Okay. Now, Here's my desk self shelf. I put some of my stuffies up there. The This is my oldest bear. Um, and this one's old too. So I've got my books, journals. This is an assortment. We've got up to here is like her books. 
and my little cuties. And then I've got tarot guidebooks. And then I've got three books I'm currently working on. My printer. Um, and here is my little ceramic Faye Bays. And I got a new one. Look at this little guy. And it, it has a hole so you can put a sprig in it. Look at that little guy. I love her. Cinny. Okay. Next up, uh, tucked down there, I do have a binder, which I am eventually going to deal with. But not today. Okay. Here we have my wish wall. So I'm trying to get a whole view. Um, but so this, this piece came in a witch's moon and it's supposed to be like a, like a wish bowl kind of a thing. Um, and so I put together this little spot in the wall with all the things that felt like appropriate and to work with wishing and sending my wishes to the universe. So I have my crow artwork piece and that Jessica Stark gave me, um, and the little write up. Crows are a guide of mine, and, and since they're a bird, they can, like, fly my wishes, you know? Um, the hanging itself, currently empty. Then, to weave a wish, that's the art that came with it. I wish upon, that's, like, the incantation that came with it. I wanted to put the Spirits of Fate artwork with it, because it's, like, I wanted the recognition in this that I understand that I can wish for things and it doesn't mean I'm going to get exactly them because there's fate at play, right? And then here's one of my witch's ladders I made. This one is fairy energy, but like the words I had chosen were, and I didn't make it for this wall, were dream, trust, and believe. So very appropriate. Um, let's go over here first, and then we'll end with my big altar. So over here, so there's the chakra paintings. Here's my little prosperity wall. So I put my green man up here because he definitely feels prosperous. There's that prosperity artwork and the sigil, and then a different sigil artwork I attract prosperity and abundance and I've decided I'm going to use this as my like money abundance bowl I have my clothes because you know closet other side of the closet and the cat tree and then my apothecary shelf shelf I'm not going to give a whole tour of this right now uh do let me know if you'd like to see that i planning to do it anyways, but not right now. So there's that. And then moving my chair one sec. The last thing that's left is this bad boy. My The main attraction, or at least you might find it the main attraction. This is my big altar. In this corner, I have my jewelry. Just want this one to sit better. <clears throat> so I got my jewelry and then my jewelry cabinet. On this side, I have my Medusa pieces and the pieces that uh, bring to my Medusa and also this, uh, which is ladder. And I had an extra devil card when I got the Whispering Spirit, so I put it there. Um, pop it on the little tree trunk it sits on, my candle. This is this beautiful bracelet that feels very Medusa, Medusian, I guess you could say. Um, crystals. Here's my little like decorative altar, and what's cool is Light up. Up there, oh, we have my little witch scene I made. Oh, sorry, trying to. Uh, okay, there. 
Uh, my Medusa shelf with my Kantaji Oracle. My Hecate shelf with my Dreams of Gaia Tarot. And I've showed this before, but this is my this is my favorite stone I've ever found. There's like a, a center of quartz in the middle of it. And like, it's got this line all the way. Like, how magical is that? I'm still going to make something out of that. On this side is where we have my Hecate associated stuff and my tools. Um, this is like a witch themed witch's ladder, literally to like empower me as a witch. Uh, this is a sovereignty mall I made. I really love that one. My journal that stays here open, ready for me to journal. My candle, my, this is the container that, um, this plaque is the lid of this container. So I have my mala, um, this piece of paper has the affirmations I say with my mala, and then I have my spider poison ring that I wear little plate of jewelry, just one piece right now that I would like to consecrate. More crystals. And then down here, oh, sorry. Here's pendulum one, pendulum two, pendulum three. Those ones might get moved over with my chakra wall. I'm, I'm not sure though. And then here, I have an incantation piece that felt more Hecate, so it's on this side. One that felt more Medusa, it's on that side. And then the protection one. There's a protection one. The, the bag is back here behind my candle, which I'm not going to share about. That's my wick stick, so it's a fancy lighter. My wand, crystal, and then this is a, a spell work, which I'm not going to share about. And that is my room tour. I hope you had fun with this little video, just showing you around my new room. I really love it. I love it so much. It is perfection, but I gotta go now. So let me say goodbye here. Um, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up to let me know if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification so you can come on back nice and easily. In the description box below, you will find a link to my website. As I mentioned, I am a professional astrologer and tarot reader, and you can check out my services there. I'd love to teach you about your chart um, so you can be empowered to use the magical language that is astrology in, in your life. Whew, I'm out of breath. I also have the link to my YouTube channel membership, which is um, getting an upgrade. So stay tuned for information on that. Um, I'm very excited. And there's the link for my, that might be the last link, but there's also my email. So if you have any questions or video requests, um, or questions about my services, send me an email and I'd be happy to help. I'm going to let you go here and I will see you again very, very soon. Lots of love. Bye.